Hey guys, it's me, Lee, with Victorian Dreams by Lee. I'm sitting here crafting and I'm like, hey, wait, I could be making a video. So, yeah, let's make a video. Um, Easter's coming and I just wanted to alter a couple of Bibles. So, um, that's what I did. So, this I was fixing to glue on. I put the um, flat back here. And then these, um, I bought both pieces from AliExpress and I was going, this has got an orange color and I was just going to uh, add that there. And let me show you, this is just dollar store Bibles. Here they are. They cost a dollar each, no matter what size you get. And so I'm altering them. These are King James, um, so I can give them out to Christians, but I can't give them out to family because we are Catholic, which is Christian, um, which people get very confused about that. But the Catholic follows a Catholic Bible. The original Bible is the Catholic Bible. And then King James, that's why it's called King James, rewrote it to make himself happy and um, took a couple of things out and changed a few things. But if you follow both Bibles, they're kind of extremely similar and close, close, close. But anyway, so here's this Bible. And I don't even like talking religion, so I went too far. So, um, and I went ahead and went all the way around. I was going to stop here, and, and then it kind of looked funny. And uh, let's see, one, two... About three pieces of here is vintage on here also, but most of it is just uh, trim that I get from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to glue that on there, and it's a very nice Bible. This, the, the print is small, so you have to have glasses if you're old like me. And then this one is tiny, and it's so cute. You could put this in your purse, and that would be really nice. And I still need to trim the edges a little bit right here, but... Anyway, I thought maybe y'all would want to just hang out with me while I glue these on and get started on another one. I'm not sure about this one. I don't know. I just don't know what trim to put on this one. Or maybe nothing at all is what I keep going to. So, okay, let's start with uh, the bigger Bible. And for a dollar, you just can't go wrong. It's a nice, nice gift. See? And, um, yeah, so, yeah. okay, so the first thing I do is I cover that so it don't shine through. Like, if you use this, you can see where it sh the wording is kind of shining through, and that's the only thing. And I, you say, oh, you're covering up the name. Well, it's still a Bible, and I'm still gifting a wonderful Bible that even inside says the Holy Bible, so... Oh, it even has where you, who gave it to you. So, you know, it's all good. It's just a good, um, good little gift to give. Um, and someone might cherish it more because you altered it or laced it up. So, okay. All right. Um, let's see. I have a whole bunch of stuff over here. <laughs> So let me see what I want to use. And some of this stuff can't go in the, in the middle, and I'll walk through it. It can go on the top or on the bottom. So let's just find a nice piece and change it up a little bit and enjoy the process. And I have Charlie. So this could be Glue Gun Chronicles if you don't know me. I've done Glue Gun Chronicles for years, and that was meaning I would use my glue gun, and I named him Charlie because there was a video of a little boy saying, Ouch, Charlie, that really hurt. <laughs> so every time I would get burnt, I would say, Ouch. So I named him Charlie. So anyway, and it is a Sure Bonder fine tip. So, and I gave about. 50 of these away with Glue Gun Chronicles. I wonder if there's anyone out there that still follow me that got the glue gun from me. <laughs> oh, I gave about 250 gifts out for a few years. Every week I would do a challenge. But yeah, I'm going to put this. Actually, I like how it covers it all and starts at the very top because usually I was layering back and forth. But I'm going to do that this time. 
and I'm going to set these right here so that you can see them a little bit and I can point to what I'm talking about but so this has got a this has got a layer here underneath there's it's a little bit different layers so yeah let's just put that there okay so let's get started let me see I may not have enough space or let me pull you all out I'm sorry I don't want to be irritating everybody let's pull that out there we go okay so what I do is I have Charlie heated up I do have one of these um, because when you squish it down like that the glue doesn't come through it stays underneath and it doesn't come through the holes so this seems to be helping better because if I use my finger it wants to attach to my finger and then it wants to come through and uh, blob on top of the lace so um, all I do is wherever I start is just put a fine bead and I try to have it as straight as possible and I try to have it as um, over the edge just a hair see I touched it and it's already wanting to um, grab onto me so if you use this it works better but um, have it come over the edge a little or right to the edge because you can always trim this with your scissors but don't be too short you need to cut you need to come right to the edge see how it comes comes right to the edge and I think I'll see a little bit of trimming on the back side <clears throat> so then I'm only doing the top right now and then we'll come back and we'll come back and do the bottom because we don't want to do the bottom right away because we may want to shove a piece of lace underneath it <coughs> my husband's been sick all week and um, he took a COVID test and it came back negative so he must have had the flu and I didn't think anyone got the flu this year but his symptoms were very covid -y. but it said no but he's still quarantined and I quarantined away from him and I didn't get sick I am actually pulling that but I'm gonna not totally trim it close because this part's not glued down and I would have hated to trim it and it cut and have like a space like this so I have it and lace the good thing about lace is it pulls a little bit so if you do cut it too short you can pull it a little bit and it'll come across um, better and it did not uh, glue that corner so what I could do is melt this so I don't have a lot of glue and it did melt or I could run a new bead or you want to do both but you don't want it to be thick and glob there so see how the glue didn't come through the hole um, there because I used this little silicone thing and you might need to use something like this too um, yeah okay so the hardest thing about doing this is finding your next piece to me so I have vintage stuff here I have uh, just regular stuff and so let's see if I put that here I kind of like it underneath a little bit so that's what I meant about don't glue it down see this is wanting to come off wow look at that so why that happened is I took too long because it does glue to this Bible it's a plasticky top but I took too long and I thought I did when I did it so I'm gonna melt that bead so it's not a rib raised rib and I'm going to melt it and I don't mind showing you that this happens but what happened was I, was I took too long to glue it down and I've got the door open and the wind is blowing 
So it dried fast. So I'm going to put another piece there and we're going to glue it fast and we're going to secure it fast and now we definitely do not have that problem. And I'm going to let it dry for a minute and then I'll come back and I'll show you um, that it does glue down because I don't want you all to go buy a Bible which is only a dollar. I don't want you to buy a Bible from the dollar store and then have a problem. So see it is down there. I'm pulling on it and it is down there now. Okay. So I'm thinking should I go underneath it or go right to the edge? So but if we go right to the edge it shows gaps in between the um, lace where it shows a little bit too much of the base. So I'm just going to now see pull that up and the good thing about lace is it's straight so when you do get the base started um, you can pull that up a little so at least I can eyeballing where it is right underneath the words so I'm going to come up just a hair let me get some more glue and start maybe a little higher yep and I need to be faster because of the temperature in here. So there we go. So then when I bring it down, um, you, can, you, can, you can see that it looks good. <laughs> so anyway, but Johnny is feeling better. I stayed quarantined away from him for a week and so did the family. Had a lot of people calling and checking on him, which was nice. He's back to normal. Well, he's still feeling weak. So, and I, I don't know. He took the test. He could still have COVID, but who knows nowadays? You never know what to believe. But, you know, we're all pretty healthy. So, make sure that is straight. There we go. And now if I pull that back down. Yeah, so there's a second piece. This is white and this is cream. And you could do all white, you could do all cream, you could do uh, all kind of stuff. In fact, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you on the camera, but I have a piece of ribbon here. It's Paris ribbon. It's got um, wire in it that I'm going to pull the wire out. And I kind of want to put, put a do one of them go in a different direction and have Paris um, theme or maybe just pieces of it you know on here so you just you know we gotta see how it works out so okay so now let me trim this off I'm gonna trim it a little extra because I can always come back and now that I know that it's going there, now I'm going to come back and glue the top piece. So let me just get this edge. And it comes over here. And then when I pull it, I pull with this and I pull it to the edge so that it's nice and tight and has a good seal. And get this little piece. I'm just going to glue it on there so it gets in the right spot. Okay. And then I know that something's going to go on top of this. So let me glue this one down. You hear the birds? And see there's extra glue, but all that's going to get trimmed with my scissors. So make sure we pull this and it does open it doesn't uh, hurt it or anything but see all the trimming will do okay so um, this needs to be glued down that needs to be tacked down a little bit so let's just come underneath here and tack it down if you do uh, craft fairs you could probably make some good money um, with this depending on your 
laces that you buy. Yeah, so we want to make this straight, so we're pulling it down. I normally don't glue very much on that, so I'm not. I'm only going to worry about the other pieces. So let's put it here. Along. And if you feel like it's not straight or nothing, the tip of your glue gun, just get up underneath it. Like, let me show you. You would get up underneath it and you would let the tip release that glue that I had just glued. Let that tip warm it back up and it would release and then you would just start over and then that way you could always reuse everything that you have and you're not having to tear it or lose any of your product. So like this piece right here I think I pulled down a little bit too far so I am going to there you go I'm going to release it I'm releasing it with my tip and now I'm just going to dab glue where the section needs to be and I am just going to bring it straight. So there you go. And you wouldn't be able to tell. Okay, so now we have to glue the second piece of lace and I don't need a lot. And there's flyaways of the glue everywhere. Ugh, it's driving me crazy. But just get your heat gun. And um, when the project's over, just hit it five seconds on every side. And it will uh, melt those little flyaways away. So let me put some glue underneath here. I did these about four years ago. And I thought, you know, I know I've done this before, but... It's okay if I show another video, so I'm glad you came and um, craft and sit with me. We're gluing that one down. Okay. Well, there's a little bit of glue right here, but a lace a piece of lace will cover that up. So now, what color and what should I use? What do I have? Let's see, um, I'm just going through my stuff. Normally I try to be really ready, but I'm going through my stuff. So what is this? This is so, um, it needs to be like iron, and I'm wondering if I can, if I can lay that back down. That's the bad thing about this piece. It's always, always so crinkly, and I think that I can't use that right now because I would need to iron it. See, it's... It's a hot mess, so I don't want to deal with that one right now. All right, let me see. I don't want too matchy matchy. Let's see. This right here is vintage, and my mom gave it to me. And that would look really pretty at the bottom. And it is almost like this right here, but this is really fine, and this is thick. This is yarn. This is really fine. So if I put that there, it really makes the edge nice to there. So that's one, two, three, and what and this would be the fourth piece. But it's too small. So we're not going to use that one. But you only need like four pieces of lace if you have the right size. So let's see what other size we could use. And we could lay this one. We could lay this one this direction, hide that top line that I don't really like too much, pull it down, and then this one would cover up that top line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the bottom one so that it stays on this edge straight, then put that one on. That's how I find that it works for me. Um, because I feel like 
if I put this one here, if I put this one here and I didn't bring it to the right spot, it just doesn't, it doesn't have a lot of space to play around. So let's do this one first. So I'm going to go, I hope y'all can see this. I'm going to bring it in more so you can. Okay, so I'm just going to put glue on this bottom piece. Hmm. Let me see if I can write that up. I made a mistake. It doesn't go on the bottom. I mean, because that's going to stay free. And um, ooh, I'm glad it's on this rubbery piece on this plasticky Bible. I haven't made mistakes like this in a long time. Okay, so I want this to be like this. See how here I can move my finger underneath the pieces and I want it to have movement. So I'm going to let it be glued underneath the uh, orange and this is going to have movement. And this is peeling up, thank goodness. Yay. <sighs> okay. All right. All right. Thank goodness. Okay, so about right here I need to go. Let me just get it started so it's underneath the lace and lined up. So, okay, I got it started. Now I see where my line needs to be. So let me turn it this way and I see where the line needs to be. And I'm going to come back and uh, clean that up a little more later. I just don't want to take your time. Okay, so then we made the line. So that is going on the middle. We want to line that up straight with the edge of the book. And the lace is straight. I hope it is in the camera, but my book is a little cockeyed. So it's a vintage bolt. Look how big it is, the bolt. <laughs> so then I'm trying to move it around. Okay. To keep my laces fresh and smelling fresh, I use um, dryer sheets in all my drawers where all my laces are. Um, even the ones that, that I buy from Hobby Lobby and stuff like that, they're in drawers with, or Ziploc bags, with um, dryer sheets. So there we go. So now we're going to trim this. Now all we have to do is add one more piece in here and we know that we're going to use this and we know that I want to hide this top edge to me doesn't feel as finished. It's just my preference. So I'm going to move this down. You notice I only glued the middle here. I didn't glue these edges. So I'm going to move it down and I'm going to figure out where this works best. And for you to figure out lace, when it's on a spool and you buy it, you're looking at the top piece is the, the right piece is the shiny piece. Um, that's the top. This would be the bottom. Say you don't know, the shiny piece is always the better piece and that would be the top. But if you're sitting there and it's taking you a hot minute to figure out which is shinier and which is prettier, then you've got some good quality lace and it doesn't matter. <laughs> because guess what? Only you are going to know. So that just barely covers it. So I'm going to pull it down just a hair more. And pull it down just a hair more so it needs to start there. So, get the straightest edges I could, and a little 
hold it in place so that I can, and it's, I'm keeping it on the spool and cutting it as I use it. And the good thing about laces, you just put glue down and you pull it and it stays straight. And I didn't glue on that little tiny edge because I knew I'm going to come back with this and I'm going to tack it down here and there. So I just put it throughout the thick part of the, of the middle here. And it did its work. So I'm just, you know, a, a little bit of glue goes a long way. Um, I'm not even pulling, I'm not even using it as a full line of glue. I'm just kind of wetting the book with the glue. It could take a full line, but you can see I'm just kind of wetting it. But that means it dries fast. So, um, yeah. And if it's not enough glue, at least it's where it needs to be. And I can go back and tack it down. Um, only because of my weather right now. So I'm gonna trim that. And then this lace goes back over it. And then all I need to come back and just tack it in places like this one I tacked in places here and there. If you make a mistake, uh, put a piece of uh, uh, flower or ribbon or bow or add another lace on it. There's nothing like if you're not happy with something that you didn't like, come back with another piece and you could plop another piece on or put it here just add another layer and um, like I have this right here so you're not happy with that line right there that gives it more contrast so let me tack this down in places so that it doesn't get hurt by use so I'm gonna tack that piece down here and this needs to be tacked down here because you know you want someone to use it so you don't want the lace to be flipping and flopping and everything. So let me turn it upside down and I'm going to get right on that line and that's why I didn't worry about over or under gluing because now we're coming right on that line and we're gluing both pieces down and it also is gluing to the book. I don't worry about the binding so much it's so tight so let's do that again. Let this glue, it's going it's a full bead and it is um, going to glue and smush to the book and smush to both laces and hold that lace down. And let me see, did I get these edges? Nope, I need to get this edges. So I'm going to get the side edges where they would want to turn the page type but I'm not going to do the bottom. The bottom is okay to have movement. So um, then you got these little peaks right here. And you don't want something to snag under it. And plus you can see a little bit of the glue. So what I'm going to do is I am going to come back and put a dollop underneath a couple of them at a time and hit it with my rubbery finger thing. And um, hold that down. Let's do it on both sides. So this could be done, but I think it just needs something else. So I'm going to still add another piece of lace somewhere. I want to kind of put something right here. Um, like this one, it was totally finished, but then I've added this piece to it and it really see the movement is what I mean it's glued down but it still has movement like this still has a little movement this still has a little movement this one halfway does too and this one I tacked down just a little but see I added more layers there's you know 
this one didn't need to be added but um, it just gave it a little more and of course we got to add that to it so let's find something here um, I kind of like that one that I just showed you but let me just look I've got a whole bunch but here that is and it's from Hobby Lobby and it's pretty it is it's pretty um, I thought I had something with pearls in it let me see oh this is nice um, this has pearls and it changes the color a little bit and gives a better a little bit better color now with this I had to put glue on the edge because it ravels real bad so you'll have to put glue but that's nice but I don't want it to snag with the pearls but we may use that um, this right here that's pretty but I think that would be for me to use it as as a medallion and just put here it, it, uh, you can see oh let me see this is pretty this is vintage I don't know who gave me this or where I bought it but that's pretty too I think I like that yeah, let's use that. Let's move everything else out of the way. Um, I don't know where I got it with it being on the card like that. Um, but I like it. It's pretty, isn't it? And let me see. What is the front and back? So if I put this right here, I wonder if you could put it like this and give it a pocket too. And they could stick notes in it. That would be another idea. I think the next one I make, I'm not going to go this way uh, landscape. I'm going to go um, portrait, which is vertical or horizontal. <laughs> so let's put that right there. That's really cute. That's nice. I'm going to raise it up just a little. Okay. So I'm just going to put a bead of glue. And then this. I think has a nice edge to it already cut so I'm going to try to put that there can you see it I don't, I don't think you can see all the colors there's one two there's three or four different colors okay let's pull it all the way across I'm going to put a little bit here and then I can see where it's wanting to lay because it's got a little bit of a curve to it so I'm going to see where it wants to lay and then I'm going to add more glue and add a bead of glue I'm going to pull tight I'm going to trim straight so I can reuse this and let me see and I've done this before and I've cut my finger yes <laughs> there there we go so there is a covered Bible and it came from the dollar store and here's one and they're all matchy matchy kind of but do I add a flower to one of these? Do I find another flower and add that to it? It is really pretty. I think the flowers really make the difference. So let me see what I have. <laughs> I have this flower. That's really pretty. Um, I have this one already pre-done. I like this one and oh let me see I have that or that I really like that brown one and I like this one too but this one has a little pearl already in it and um, if you go back to my AliExpress hauls I had links for everything that I bought but to tell you the truth it's been 
probably two years since I ordered from AliExpress. Oh, this is a headband. And what I would do is cut, um, cut the lace off. Now that would be nice as just a, um, that would be nice just like that and trim the lace to fit and just keep the lace on there too. Now that's an idea, but that I like this. I like this as because some people put notes in their Bibles and stuff and bookmarks and make a bookmark to go with it and it gives it some room. But if you want to use a headband, you would need to cut one side off, cut off about an inch because it's got about an inch too much and then glue it back down on here on, on the back of the flower. Then put it back on um, on here but that's a cute design too so see there is let me see if I can show you there's this much so yeah you would need to cut maybe an inch off but that is cute right there too so let me pull it down so you can see that other really vintage piece and there you go so there is some um, really cute designs for Bibles that I hope you like um, and I hope I gave you some inspiration um, and if you have a glue gun that I gave you or a gift that I mailed out because there was like 250 um, say hi because you know I'd like to hear from you um, guys it was so nice to sit with y'all and hang out so it was nice I was happy to be with y'all so yeah <laughs> I don't think that goes with the orange so all my links are down below I hope you like this I hope I gave you an idea and uh, going back to the old stuff that we haven't done in a while is fun isn't it it is it's fun to uh, recreate and this has got pearls on it right here so that was fun and nice but wasn't that fun to go back to an old idea and just enjoy it so for Easter, I'm going to put some of these in little goodie bags and I put them in the ladies' mailboxes that live around me. And then I text them and say, uh, you need to go check your mail. <laughs> so that's what I do. So, yeah. Um, thank you. Have a blessed day, everybody.